Hey guys, Tim John here. Today I'm talking to Orange Chair Productions, a video production and filmmaking company here in Chicago. John Otterbacher, and I am the uh, executive producer, the president of Orange Chair Productions. And um, Orange Chair Productions is a boutique, or boutique, I guess, film company here in Chicago, we specialized mainly in independent film production. Uh, we're also working with a lot of nonprofits, helping them kind of develop some more promotional or training videos, just whatever they need, essentially. What's the story behind the Orange Chair? Um, I'm very intrigued. <laughs> yeah, well, um, I need something catchy. Uh, no, um, the orange chair has been around for a very long time. I think it's older than me. I don't remember a period of time in my life where this wasn't either at my parents' house or once I left, you know, there. I took it with me. It's just always been around. And in college, when I went to film school in Michigan, um, this chair was at my house, and I, unlike a lot of college students, I didn't live in a dorm. Uh, I was a little bit older when I went back to school, and I had this house. And so I would invite other film students to come, like, live with me, essentially. I, I wouldn't call it, like, a filmmaking commune or anything, but filmmakers would come and stay, and other creative people would come, and they'd, instead of staying in a dorm or apartment, they'd come stay at this house, and this chair was there. So invariably, we'd be sitting talking about movies or talking about our next project, and it always seemed like we were somebody was sitting in this chair, and it just became kind of a symbol for creativity, you know? I don't know any other way to explain it. This idea that the internet is keeping people from going to the theater, I think, is different. I, I just met with a, a group of theater managers, and they said that the number of different people coming to see movies was down. But the number of people coming to see more movies individuals coming to see more movies on a regular basis was up. So there are people out there that like going to the movie theater because of the experience of going to a movie theater. And those same people, um, a lot of them are watching video on the internet too. And, and they don't have to be exclusive of each other. It doesn't have to be like, well, I watch, I don't need cable television anymore because I have the internet, or I don't need the internet because I only like to see movies in the theater. I think it's, a, it's not an either or, it's a both and. So I picked it up as a hobby, started taking a couple classes. I was in sales and uh, kind of living a average, you know, Midwest life. It was fine. I was having a very nice time. Um, but I wasn't feeling really challenged. And uh, my grandfather had been in the film business in that he ran a bunch of theaters around where I grew up. And so, and my father was a huge film fan, so I just always wanted to be around movies. As I was watching movies, we were always talking about making movies, and I said, well, it can't be that hard. So I went to film school, and then I continued on, got a master's degree, came to Chicago. Uh, we made Riff Raff uh, a few years ago. It's uh, been a long journey, but we shot this on 16 millimeter film at North Avenue Beach. Um, and uh, I haven't really looked back since then. A lot of filmmakers, unfortunately, are not as proactive and engaged in getting their movies out there once they're done. See, a lot of people make movies and then submit them to festivals, and then they play this game. Well, it's, well, we'll see. I'm going to spend some money, and hopefully my film will get into these festivals, and it will play. And that's kind of the old model is go to the festivals. If it does well, you go to more festivals. If it's, and if it's a feature length, then maybe you get picked up and get distribution. But it's, mm -hmm. it's really, really difficult to do. If you're a short, you might get some distribution, but main, you know, maybe a television station will play it a couple times or a, a website will pick it up now. But it's, it's, this, it's kind of a funky game, and people just kind of put things out there, and then they just wait and sit on their hands. And my thing is, well... There's a lot of good films. I see a lot of good films from my friends and from people who are friends of friends or even from students. I, you know, I teach locally, and my students are creating work. That I, and I'm telling all of them, like, put it on YouTube. Get it out there. Do something. It's, it's not just about creating. It's about you know, uh, 
having audiences experience that. It's, it's a form of communication. I think Chicago's like the, uh, the Paris of the United States. <laughs> I've never it's, heard that one before. It's got neighborhoods a lot like Paris does. There's great culture here. There's great food here. There's a lot of wonderful artists here. We enjoy the changing of the seasons and uh, good public transportation. And I, I think that there's, especially as we kind of break down these walls with uh, communication, internet, and being able to transfer speeds, there's no reason that you can't make movies here and cut them in L.A. or make movies in L.A. and cut them here and distribute them all over the world. I mean, I think you can do it from anywhere. I think Chicago is an ideal place to do it. A lot, a lot of really talented actors here in Chicago, too. I think this is a wonderful place to make movies, if for no other reason that there are talented actors who are interested in getting on screen. This is a really tough gig. I think there's probably easier ways to make a living than being a filmmaker. Um, yeah, <laughs> I, think, I, I would agree. I think there are, there are a lot easier ways to uh, to if you if you're simply looking to make money, you know, and make money and not work 100 hours a week. Filmmaking is probably not what you want to do. Most filmmakers, thankfully, the good ones, are just compelled to do it. They just don't have a choice. We just want to make movies. We want to work on movies, and we're willing to do whatever it takes. Inside the vacant cabin, the fire